All new at five, some would say it's being in the right place at the right time. Others would call it a miracle. Whatever it is, a police officer's life was saved last month when a few heroic coworkers knew what to do when he had a heart attack. Your community reporter Nicole Nielsen with a story that has a very happy ending. It should be a pedestal right here and the bright lights are shine down there with a picture of Jesus Christ right here, right, right there above it. Terrence Parker never thought he would be so grateful for the defibrillator hanging on the wall inside the Bob Bolin Public Safety Complex in Fort Worth. He also never thought he'd be the one to have a heart attack. And I figured, you know, me working out, I'd be good to go. His background portrays him as the picture of health and strength. 14 years in law enforcement and 31 in the U.S. Army. On the outside, you'd never know he had problems with his arteries, and neither did he. That was until he collapsed at work on May 16th. We were in shock and we just gathered around like in a little semi-circle uh, semi and some of us were just praying because the biggest thing is we're all a family. A few officers started chest compressions and grabbed the defibrillator on the wall, shocking Parker six times. Next thing I know, I wake up in the hospital. By what he calls a miracle, he awoke with no side effects. A feat doctors tell him is incredibly rare. Just by the grace of God, I'm still here. He's, he's not done with me yet. On Tuesday, the Fort Worth City Council recognized Parker and the team of officers who saved him, something he says he will never take for granted. Now he's just working on what he should do with his second chance. I have a purpose and I'm trying to figure out that purpose, but I'm slowly leaning towards, you know, being like an advocate for a CPR, AD. You never know when you may be in that situation that you may have to save another person's life. In Fort Worth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.